as well as providing an important habitat for some of Ireland's native animals. Moat Park's woodland draws heavy footfall from a more easily spotted species. The forest property here is about uh, 200 hectares in size. It's uh, close to the urban area of Roscommon and about 20 minutes from Athlone. And the purpose of the trails here is to provide a recreational amenity infrastructure for the people living within the locality and for visitors coming into Roscommon. Well, there are three trails uh, within this forest area. The first one and the longest is the Heritage Trail, which starts in Roscommon Town, uh, follows the road network and actually goes down through the spine of the forest here and returning to Roscommon Town. The next trail is the Crofton Trail, which is named after the Crofton family. It's a loop trail and then you have the Bluebell Trail, which is obviously named after the amount of bluebells growing within the forest floor as you walk around. The uh, Crofton Trail is about uh, three quarters of an hour and the uh, Bluebell Trail will take you around uh, 35, 40 minutes to complete. Moat Park has, you know, its heritage value, it has a social value and it has an economic value. And that social value is how it contributes to the quality of life and, you know, people's sense of place. And it's become so well established now in the Roscommon area that everyone associates Moat Park with somewhere to walk, somewhere to run, somewhere to go and clear your head after a busy day. I think people are drawn to Moat Park because it's a place to go to get away from it all. There's peace and quiet. Moat Park is on the doorstep and it's to be used and hopefully people will.